Piotr Brzeziński. This prize is about seeing the invisible. Uh, can you tell us something more about this cryo EM, cryo electron microscope? Uh, I think it's, it's in a way it's a revolution because now it's possible to extract molecules from the cell that are in in the same environment as they usually in the cell in in the water and uh, not also see the structures of these molecules but also see how they interact with each other how how they operate one can get since the uh, all the particles the uh, molecules that are studied are in a solution they are frozen in the different states and one can then combine the different pictures to to understand function as well dynamics and that's the sort of key to understanding life yeah. everybody knows what the microscope is but how does this one look like uh, it's a big box that is i think three four times taller than we are and <laughs> and then there is a chamber where one places the sample and uh, then it's illuminated inside there's vacuum inside it's cool and uh, and then there's a camera which is one of the key components uh, or the I should say the, the key components developed most recently uh, that is is the used then to detect the pictures and, and monitor the, the so it's like big like a room it, it, it it's a whole room yeah and it must be very stable uh, the floor must be stable because it's sensitive to vibrations and so so it's a, it's a big expensive machine <laughs> do you have one uh, there is one uh, in stockholm uh, which is shared uh, between stockholm university and other universities and at Life lab and then the, there is one in Ume also mm. and do you use mm. it uh, yes, we do use it. We uh, just started recently because it's, uh, the instrument is new, but uh, we, we do use it uh, in my research also. Uh, I think uh, a lot of people are really interested in using the instrument because it can provide so much information that is, uh, it's, it, it's very important for understanding function. So what and would be your dream discovery at this point? Uh, I think for for the future, I mean, first of all, it's it's to see the molecules we work on. I mean, that's, that's uh, in itself, it's uh, it's something very rewarding to be able to see the objects you work on. But uh, I think for the for the future, and which is uh, now more and more become possible, is to 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 observe, as, as I mentioned before, these different states that one can freeze the sample, why or freeze the the molecules, why they do something, to actually combine the information into a, a movie or to the, understand the dynamics, how, how they interact, what they do, how, what, what happens in, inside the cell. I mean, this is with purified proteins, of course, but one can then under, try to understand what happens inside the cell as well. So are there any more secrets that are uh, not revealed in the living cell anymore? <laughs> uh, not uh, yet, because the technique or, or the, at the state at the status is relatively new. So the possibilities uh, to use this technique to in in this way that is used today uh, has only been uh, possible since uh, just a couple of years. So uh, I think now it's an explosion in research, and what is limiting now is it's access to the microscope actually. So it's a waiting time; it's very long. So I think with new uh, new microscopes and uh, more microscopes, I think um, there's a lot to be seen. Mm. It was also a very long way to develop this one. Uh, it's like since 70s or 80s. What was the main obstacle that uh, you would pick I up? I think it's, I mean, from the beginning, the, the problem was that uh, studies of biological objects in an electron microscope, it's not trivial because there is vacuum inside which, uh, the, so um, biological samples contain primarily water, so they dry inside and shape changes and the pictures are useless. Then the electron beam burns the molecules uh, which also changes the structure even more dramatically, and uh, this has been a challenge to 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 be able to reduce the intensity of electrons of the radiation, and yet be able to see something in the background noise, and uh, this required uh, both techniques for uh, for um, developing the microscope, the the technology itself, 
but also techniques to to be able to find the molecules in the pictures because the, the, which since one has to re reduce the the radiation, the light in the equivalent to a light in a uh, light microscope, but here are electrons, and then the pictures are very weak, so one has to find the, where the objects are. One has to see how they are related to each other in, in a space, and this requires mathematical methods, mathematical tools, and computer programs. Uh, and there's, of course, the sample preparation to be able to freeze the samples in such a way that uh, the, the picture is not distorted. So all the, they have been, I mean, research has been going on very actively during a long time, but has, there has been a lot to do before the technique matured into the, yeah, the state in it's today. Not, not uh, to kill the life in the cell. Exactly, yes. exactly. No, to kill the molecules even. Yes. Yeah. Mm. The, there is yeah. this very special way of freezing the water, the solution, yes. mm. uh, that you call It's called vitrified waters, yes, yes. So the idea is that uh, one freeze, normally when one freezes water, it, uh, uh, ice crystals are formed. And ice crystals diffract electrons so that uh, the information is lost because the electrons go all, are diffracted always. Uh, so the idea was to, to freeze the water so fast that the crystals would not have time to form. So, uh, and this is called vitrified water, like a glass. It's the same principle as a glass in a window. It's also a liquid. All the molecules are disordered and they are, they are not crystallized, but they are, it's like a liquid that is uh, like a solid, but it's actually on windows. You can see in the lower part of all old houses, the windows are a little bit thicker. And it's the same way here. It's transparent. It's, 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 yes, right, right. And uh, so and it's the same way here. Freeze water so f rapidly that that the crystals have, don't have time to be formed. And it's like, it's like a uniform uh, glass that is transparent, or actually it, it does interact with electrons, but in a uniform way. And this allowed uh, to, uh, technique to be developed such that contrast could be increased and, and one could see the molecules uh, in, 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 the, uh, in the pictures in the electron microscope. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So now you have yeah. a perfect instrument? Or would you like to modify it a little more? I think more? there's more to do. I think I mean, the, the new detectors, which was the latest uh, breakthrough, they are not perfect. There is still a lot to, to do to improve them. Uh, also, the, uh, the sample preparation methods could be improved. Uh, way the uh, cryo stage and the, where they are kept, that the temperature is, is kept constant because the variation in the temperature can... Uh, uh, cause movement, uh, so uh, so there are, there are a lot of techniques, and also I mean it's in principle very little sample is needed to uh, for the studies. But uh, since one has to apply a droplet to this grid, uh, one has to remove almost all the sample and very very small fractions, like a droplet in a bathtub that is actually left. So if one could uh, develop techniques that would allow applying very small amounts of sample, then there is of course ma many more molecules that could be studied because it's not possible to to purify uh, all molecules in an amount at an amount that is uh, allows studies. So there are a lot, a lot of pieces that can be improved, and I think for the future it will. Uh, I think the technique has a lot to promise. Yeah. Yeah. And my last question, perhaps, uh, what did the laureates say when they got the call from Stockholm? Uh, I, but from what I, the, the, we had some problems with the, with the telephone line, but those that I heard were very happy and uh, surprised and were looking forward to coming to Stockholm in December. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Mm, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for taking your time mm. with us. Thank you.